Greetings, it's Vagram, back again with another mod guide. And here I stand, in front of my giant factory. It seems that we keep coming back here a lot, but we keep having content added by Mr. Aiden C. Brady, the creator of Mechanism. Now let's step inside here real quick. We've gone through this simple process of how factories work, the different tiers of factories. The fact that base machines can process one at a time, while factories can process three, five, or seven things at a time. I've even shown you basic, or tripling, or doubling, or, or tripling there. This was an efficiency exercise, a combination of the logistical sorter and the various machines that are used to triple your ore on a regular basis through mechanism. Now, here's where things get crazy, right? This is regular tier one, or doubling. Every Almost every mod that has ore processing has this. You turn your ore into two dusts, one piece of ore gets turned into two dust, and then it gets smelted into ingots. Some mods have ore tripling tier two. Uh, this requires four machines and mechanism. Uh, that's supposed to be a crusher. Yeah, it's supposed to be a crusher. Anyway, it should be purification chamber, crusher, not combiner, enrichment chamber, and then smelter. And basically, uh, this process requires a little bit of flint in this machine right here, or oxygen from one of the uh, other machines and mechanism. And uh, otherwise, it's just power and time waiting for it to process. But even that being said, you can upgrade all of these machines to advanced factories and have them process seven things at a time tripling your ore with speed upgrades in great efficiency and almost turbo-like capabilities. Well, mechanism uh, currently, the stable release currently, is 5.7. And 6.0 is being worked on very, very heavily by Mr. Aiden Z. Brady. And it is going to have a lot of overhauls. Um, the power systems are being overhauled to be streamlined and more balanced and much more server-friendly. Uh, the power cables are being overhauled the same way. Uh, there's different tiers of universal cables now, so you don't have one cable that does everything for fairly cheap. Now there's different tiers, basic, uh, intermediate, advanced, ultimate, etc., etc. Well, he's doing the same thing for his ore processing. There's one step further now. We have tier one and tier two here. Now, here's tier three. Now, let me explain all this madness to you first. I'm going to turn this off temporarily. Basically, we have the normal four machines, right? We have purifier, the crusher, the enricher, and the smelter. Well, now there's a fifth one that's been added in front of the purifier called the chemical injector. The chemical injector requires a certain chemical, a secondary energy source, to, to use as a catalyst in order to actually do what it needs to do. And basically what happens is, do we have any... I need... Oh, um, some more. Basically what happens is, I'm just going to put one in there. This gets... You see, it's whipped through real quick. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna... I'm gonna clear all those out with the sake of easy benchmarks, but basically, what happens is, when you get one piece of ore, instead of turning it into two dust, or, in the case of the Tier 2 processing, it turns it into three clumps, well now you get four shards. Every one of those shards is turned into a clump, which is then refined into dirty dust, then refined into ordinary dust, then run into ingots, which means now if you put one ingot, one ore in, it'll go through all these machines, and you'll get four ingots from one piece of ore. It's pretty significant. Now, how is this pulled off? I will actually go through this process step by step. First thing you need, ignore the creative stuff. I use these from thermal expansion just for the sake of making it easier for setup. But basically, you need sulfur dust. Now, sulfur dust can be obtained various ways. You can use sulfur. Uh, Mechanism has its own sulfur that you can make by running gunpowder through a purification chamber. 
Um, option number two, you can use Railcraft Silver or you can use Thermal Expansion Silver. So you've got a lot of options there. Now the Silver goes into this machine called the Chemical Oxidizer. The Chemical Oxidizer takes that and turns it clutter, into Sulfur Dioxide. It basically turns it into a gas of a certain type, a reacted gas. That gets pumped into this thing called a Chemical Infuser. You have Sulfur Dioxide and Oxygen, which is coming from this electrolytic separator up here. You just pipe water into it. It dumps out, it pipes out the oxygen and I have it dumping out what would be the hydrogen on this side. Uh, if you don't dump out the hydrogen, it fills up, it stops working. So I, I'm dumping the hydrogen. Um, so oxygen and sulfur dioxide gets you sulfur trioxide. That gets pumped over here to another chemical infuser, which is sulfur trioxide and water vapor. You get water vapor by pumping water into this thing called a rotary condensator. That was a community name. Thank you. And this thing takes in two different directions, basically. There's a liquid side and the gas side. If you pump in liquid and set it to decondensing, um, basically to decondense, then it's going to turn that liquid into a gas. Now you can reverse that, pipe gas in, turn it back into a liquid. So you can actually make liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, all sorts of crazy stuff. But basically you get water and pump it in, turn it into water vapor, combine it with the sulfur trioxide, you get sulfuric acid, which is then pumped into your chemical injection chamber. That's what that is right there. So basically, I have maximum upgrades in these, so they're just tearing through things, basically. see this is adding up real quick we're gonna end up with a final count of about four stacks see there we go so uh, yes it requires a sum total of uh, one two three four five 10 machines basically to achieve this goal but all of this stuff on the back end is automatable all it takes is one water reservoir or one um, aqueous accumulator from thermal expansion a reservoir from Ender IO plug it into the system on the back end and you would have an infinite supply of water for both of these machines which means the only other thing you need to worry about is well the cost of all this and it does require no small amount of resources but the only thing you have to worry about is sulfur and sulfur is not exactly impossible to come by I apparently can't spell you have mechanism sulfur which you get by running gunpowder through the purification chamber but that means you're expending flint or oxygen gas to do that and oxygen you can pretty much make for free. Uh, Railcraft sulfur you can actually get from uh, sulfur deposits like the ore found on the map. Not very hard for, to find. Look around lava pools. Or uh, Ender IO you can run blaze rods or netherrack and you get a chance of getting sulfur out of it if you run through their sag mill. Uh, you have Sulfur from thermal expansion. You put nether quartz through the pulverizer, 10% chance. Railcraft sulfur ore, and you get six instead of just normal one. So you can actually get normal sulfur ore from Railcraft, put it through a thermal expansion pulverizer, and get a pretty easy supply. Um, netherrack, coal supplies some of it. Uh, sulfur can supply some of it. You can even do some of this stuff in the induction smelter and up your chances. Well, basically here's my point, right? Um, well, first of all, okay, disclaimer. This is mechanism six. It's still developmental. It's not finalized. It's not stable. It's not officially out yet. You can download it. You can get it. But you have no guarantees that it won't ruin your world. <laughs> um, I know. I've seen it ruin a couple already 
just with me experimenting with things, but it's in testing. It's still in early testing, and I wouldn't expect this thing to be finalized easily for a couple of weeks. Uh, you have this process could easily end up being changed. You could have more steps added, more expense added. Uh, you could end up having to put a metric truckload of sulfur in just to do a little bit of quadrupling. We don't know what Aiden has in mind right now. I kind of think that this took me only a few minutes to set up. And honestly, yes, I have a creative chest funneling ore, I mean sulfur, into this Java barrel. But I mean, honestly... I haven't run through that much of it. I've maybe run through three or four stacks total. And, uh, well, probably closer to about six stacks. But, I mean, still, considering the fact that you could run 10 sulfur ore through a thermal expansion pulverizer and get almost a stack, that's not that hard. So, in the grand scheme of things, it seems like while this is extremely expensive and it's kind of time-consuming to initially set up, once you get this whole rig set up, it's not hard. And it seems like the gas doesn't get used very quickly. So, I'm going to think on this some. And I'm going to report back to Aiden and let him know. But I would love to hear from you guys on what you think about this. I really would love to push some memos back to him. Because mod developers always need more feedback. They always want to hear what you, the players, are thinking. And if you think it's too cheap, or if you think it's too expensive, now's the time to speak up. Uh, I would really love to hear about it. I mean, again, chemical oxidizer, two chemical infusers, here's the second one over here, and basically a rotary condensator and a separator. I'm, that's five machines there for the gas and then five machines to process the ore. Ten machines total, but you can automate it and it's not that expensive. So think about it, folks. Let me know. Give me some feedback and I will pass it along to Mr. Agency Brady himself. Or if you want to step onto IRC, you can go to esper.net, uh, his IRC channel, uh, hashtag mechanism. You can always find him there. Or you can go to Aiden. I think it's agencybrady.com. I'll have a link to his website directly, his blog directly in the description. And I'm quite sure he'll want feedback on all these changes. There's going to be more coming from Mechanism in the coming weeks, but there's still a lot being worked on and still a lot being ironed out. So it's going to be erratic. But I'll let you know what I find out. This is Vigram, signing off. Bye-bye.